When I see Lily dancing, what goes through my head is she's still okay. At this moment, Lily's not in remission anymore. Her cancer has come back in her lungs. But when I see her going out weekends, after weekend doing competitions and keeping up with the other kids, it's incredible. And it just makes me think she's still okay. She's still okay for the time being. So I started dancing when I was two years old and I love it so much. My favourite type is probably ballet because I get to wear point shoes and my tutu. I took her along to a local dance school for a lesson and she just took to it like a duck to water. She just loved it. And then started going to competitions and I think that's where she got the real bug. The very first competition she went to, she came home with trophies. So she loved it and it just kind of escalated from there. One week end we had her up at a competition in Helensborough and in the car coming home she told me she had a sore shoulder and I says, oh you've probably pulled it. But that night she was kind of tossing and turning I said, you okay? She went, no, my shoulder's sore. And I took her top off and she had quite a, a lump and I says, that must be sore, I don't know what you've done. We'll take you to the doctors tomorrow. Within a week she was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, it just moved so fast. Nothing prepared me for how ill she really was. It really was grim. What the doctor says is, we're very worried. It was just horrific. It was really quite scary. But it hasn't stopped her. And Lily used to come out of chemo every Friday and go straight to dancing and, and has done the whole time. And we're now two and a half years down the line and she's not stopped dancing. She still goes to her dance class and our doctor just thinks she's amazing. She says she's just a miracle. idea what this will mean to Lily because Scottish Ballet has always been her thing, it was always what she wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Time to find the next then close on for the brass side. Okay. It was kind of written in the cards that Lily would always go off and go to ballet school. That's exactly what she wanted to do. So we put an application away for her to become a Scottish Ballet Associate. And on the day Lily got diagnosed, when we came home, our addition letter had, had dropped through the post. So that, that was tough. That was hard. <laughs> I'm crying now. <laughs> um, that was probably, it was like somebody stabbing you in the heart. It was awful. Sorry. Ever since I was young, when I started ballet, I've always looked up to Scottish ballet. And when I did go and visit them, it was the best experience ever. They've done so much of me. They let me go on the stage and do some dancing with them. And watching them, I just wanted to be like them so much. Like, they were so amazing. And it was so cool for me to like go up with them and show them some of my dancing. Seeing her up there dancing, she's just like any normal kid, just like a wee friend was up there dancing and it's good fun, it's, it just it takes all the pain away and it was just amazing and the fact that she was up there and she's still keeping up and she's able to dance on stage and they were all like applauding her and everything because you just then think, oh she is normal, it just takes away all that, that feeling that she's actually got cancer and you forget about it for a single second. Mm -hmm. 